Senior spring as a swimmer gives you a lot of free time. Suddenly there's this huge gap in your schedule to fill, which means you finally get to sleep a lot, but also have a lot of time to stress about the ominous, ever-looming real life that is fast approaching. And, I, and ever since I retired from swimming, I've, been, I've had a bit of an identity crisis. Swimming has always been such a huge part of my life, and even now, when I introduce myself, I catch myself wanting to say that I'm Mackenzie and I swim at Harvard. It's become a part of my name. Swimming has been a central part of who I am for most of my life, and people often ask how I got into this crazy time commitment. Usually I just say I've always swam, because that's not too far from the truth. My parents had me in the pool before I could walk, which I'm pretty sure is why I remain so clumsy on land to this day. <laughs> it's hard to say specifically when my swimming career began. My dad used to put rings on his foot and guide me under the water to fetch them, horrifying the other moms at the local swim park. <laughs> But the water has always been a, a very comfortable second home to me. From there, I took swim lessons because my parents wanted me to know how to swim for safety reasons. Pretty soon, this turned into a casual club swimming thing. Not quite USA Swimming yet with brutal morning practices, but it was on this team that I swam my first 500 freestyle. Ironically, uh, unfortunately this wasn't my last 500, but I still have the trophy they gave me after that race and it's sitting on my desk at home. Funny enough, I still hold the 9 to 10 girls short course yards 500 free record from the USA <laughs> Swimming Club that I joined shortly after that first 500. <coughs> and since then, I've done a pretty good job of avoiding the 500 free <laughs> uh, My first national time was in the 100 breaststroke in short course meters in 2006. I still wear the well-worn and incredibly comfortable sweatshirt I got at that first nationals, and many of you have probably seen me wearing it. <laughs> Um, which brought me to recruiting. Of course, as a junior, I was convinced that a big state school where I would be a swimmer first and a student second was the way to go. I had always worked hard in school, but swimming was my passion, and I wanted college to be all about swimming. So when Harvard Swimming sent me a recruiting questionnaire in the mail, I probably wouldn't have even given it a second look, except that my mom had grabbed the mail that day. She convinced me to fill it out and send it back to the coach. Harvard had contacted me, she reasoned, so what did I have to lose by checking it out? And that's how my journey to Harvard Swimming family, to the Harvard Swimming family began. I was a recruiting questionnaire sent back along with schools like Louisiana State, Arizona State, and Purdue. I didn't, think, I didn't really think much of it after I sent it back. My heart was still set on a big state school where swimming would be my life. Looking back, I had no idea what I really wanted. At the time, I didn't even look into any other Ivy schools. But when Coach Steph called me that, that summer, I couldn't help but become interested in HWSD. She seemed pretty cool, and she assured me that the team was totally normal. <laughs> <laughs> Except that they were also really smart. I was interested enough to take a recruiting trip at least, and fell in love with the coaching staff, the team, and the school over that weekend. Everyone had always told me I'd just know when I visited the right school and the right team. I thought maybe I'd just known at Purdue, but Harvard wiped that off the map. One of the things I will always remember from that trip was my meeting with Steph. She sat across from me in her office and informed me that I was too smart not to go somewhere like Harvard. She asked me incredulously what I was doing taking to trips to places like LSU, Purdue, and Indiana, and all but demanded that I go somewhere where I could excel academically as well as athletically. She even offered to get in touch with Michigan on my behalf because she felt so strongly that I needed this academic stimulus. I was overwhelmed by how much she cared about my future and couldn't see myself working with any, more, any other coach in college anymore. Suddenly, almost overnight, I'd gone from being fairly confident in a decision to swim at Purdue to knowing that Harvard was a place for me. Later that year, when I was having my Harvard alumni interview, my interviewer was asking me what I was planning to do next year at Harvard in addition to academics. Of course, I said swimming. But he had done acapella and was determined to de derail the one-track <laughs> athlete plan I had. He kept pushing, the conversation escalated quickly, and eventually he had to hypothetically paralyze me from the neck down to keep me from swimming during my time at Harvard. <laughs> Realistically, that's what it would, have, would take to keep me out of the water. So it's no surprise that swimming has been a huge part of my Harvard experience. I can't imagine a Harvard without swimming. Swimming has taught me many lessons. I wrote my college application essay on failing to qualify for the 2008 Olympic trials and my determination to make the 2012 event. During my time at Harvard, I not only accomplished this goal, but also had the privilege to stay on campus and experience the life of a full-time athlete with my fellow HWSD trials crew, crew that summer. Although I did not achieve all of my goals, I will never forget the amazing feeling that comes with being on a relay. I think that is what I will miss most from this sport, 
the feeling of being directly accountable and counting on three other people to work in unison to help the team, and the exhilaration that comes when you win. Um, I've always felt a strong comfort and connection to the water, but HWSD brought swimming to a new level for me. It provided me with a family of support and love. I've been so lucky to be a part of this team, and I'm so proud to see, have seen how much it has grown over the last four years. I'm so honored to have known and bonded with all of you, and I look forward to seeing our legacy grow. Thank you.